Check this out. For Nigeria, Naim be oppressor. For America, Naim be freedom fighter trying to build bridge. A pretentious clown. Not only that, guys. Khalid said, he will, he will soon go abroad to give them adulterated freedom fighter vibe. Well, just in case you don't know what was the offense of Bonaboy, Bonaboy decided to join the oppressors in Nigeria. We already know we have been oppressed. In fact, as a Nigeria, ordinary citizen of Nigeria, drive against traffic and see what will happen to you. Then, a politician should drive against traffic. Or, a police officer should drive against traffic. Or, a, an army officer should drive against tra traffic. And see what will happen. Analyze this whole thing. And see what will happen. I'm not saying some of you will definitely support Bonaboy because you, are, you already used to being oppressed and worshipping idol, just seeing all those big big artists as idols. You are already used to it. So I expect some of you to comment and think what, what is your problem because I knew. Or comment any other talk. I expect it already. But that will not stop me from saying my mind. I will definitely say my mind at all times. Eh? We are already being oppressed. Of course, everybody they do us of dance. You know, that might be your excuse. But if everybody they do and continuously they go like that, Uncle, that will make life better. We know Bonner Boy, of course, he deserves security, so. But you cannot be talking here and talking here. At least stand for one thing. If you are a freedom fighter trying to liberate your people, as you, as you always talk about in, in, in interviews, talk about in your music, and everything, then stand by that principle. Then if you are not, nobody will owe you. Nobody will owe you. Nobody will ask you for anything. We have a lot of musicians who, if they do the same thing with what you are, exactly what you are doing, nobody will talk to them because they know, we already know they are part of the oppressors. But you cannot be making money through trying to liberate trying to teach your Nigerians some freedom fighter move, carrying this Odogu vibe. You never knew that you just wanted to join the oppressor all these times. And let me be completely honest, guys. This is some of the attributes of a typical Nigerian. They, are, they will come to Nigeria, commit all sorts of offenses. But as soon as they go abroad, you will see them like, law abiding citizens you can never see them committing any crime like uh, driving against traffic in fact they are bags politicians will carry their own bags in airports politicians will carry their own bags in airports politicians have no security with them but let them come down here it has eaten deeply into our own blood ordinary person said Go abroad, that person can never walk past the red light. Or talk more of crossing for when he sees that red light. Never do that. But come to Nigeria. Nigeria is a free country. It's your mother, it's your father's land. You can decide to do whatever you want. If those people over there see their motherland like that, will you have that confidence to travel down there? To be doing what you are. What like really, really abiding by their rules and regulations? I'm just saying it's crazy. They drive against uh, traffic. If they drive one way, and police were there. <laughs> I beg, uh, see all those uh, fake freedom fighters. <laughs> I beg, just face your music. Keep singing your music, and then do whatever you want to do. God will continue to bless you. God will continue to prosper you. God will continue to do do things uh, uh, for you. The world in Nigeria has already revolved around you. I know some people will not want to say it out. Some people will not want to speak it the way I'm clearly speaking it because of one or two things. This is the truth. Nigeria 
things doesn't revolve around you. It's crazy. But that's just how it is though. Let me know exactly how you feel, guys. Huh? Let's uh, move past that as usual. Then again, eh, you guys know Laurie, Harvey, and Desmond Idris. Desmond Idris is uh, a Nigeria band who is a UK uh, and a stroke Hollywood actor who I do not know. Maybe they are still dating, you know. Currently dating this beautiful girl, uh, Lori. Lori is known as one of the baddies when it comes to the entertainment industry. And uh, she doesn't take time. People, people see, Lori doesn't have emotions when it comes to dating. And the reason why her name is becoming so popular, the reason why we all even know, know her, Lori. Is because of her dating history and the reason why her name is even way more popular is because the male gender expects all female gender to be attached when it comes to a relationship they expect them to cry when they separate from their boyfriends Lori is not like that Lori doesn't cry Lori moves on so fast to the next person in your crew in fact, Dancy and the other guy that Laurie had dated, if I to check her Laurie's boyfriend, they were in a group, they know each other. So as soon as you dump her, or you guys quarrel, or she dumps you, she's going to move on with your friend. So and that is and that is so wide to the point that men can easily do that but women we we does lori get that kind of heart to move on so quickly and to even move on with your friend that's the whole entire scenario why lori is really famous when it comes to the dating uh, uh cycle dating topic that's why she's very very famous she's famous because of her dating life and now that's Dancy and Laurie apparently are no more that love story has crashed you all followed each other Dancy is a Niger boy so I expect Dancy to behave like a Niger boy I don't feel attached move on fast Laurie being who Laurie is, uh, is definitely move on real fast on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one. So, we are all looking forward to a time Lori is saying enough is enough. But she might be crying though, she might be really feeling it, but you know, we just always see what the social media show, show, uh, show us. But I wish them all the best though. Once you have a relationship out there, you guys post your vacation you guys follow each other on instagram you guys attend shows together people can easily detect if you guys have broken up yes they can easily detect it so your matter is just upon public faces uh, they can easily detect it so for me Laurie, if you if they want to well there's no there's no advice you're going to give to her that she will take because she's lorry and uh She's just who she is, man. She's beautiful, though. But there are much more beautiful women in the entertainment industry. So, Damsey, move on. After all, you shouldn't be mad because I knew from the start you just wanted to chop your own share. You were really, really serious about Lori. You just wanted to taste what your friends have been tasting. That's why you went to Lori. So, do not act as if as if you care then speaking of care i've been arguing with a lot of uh, a lot of our viewers on this particular matter on the matter that uh, uh, that uh, involves actress Ikene and popular gospel musician moses bliss they had this awkward moment at a wedding. Well, most of you don't see anything wrong with it. 
which is good and fine. And the most surprising thing is that men are the ones supporting her the most. It's crazy. This generation is giving birth to weak men, honestly. To weak men. Huh? To weak men. If you are talking about men that are strong, you are not talking about men who tolerate dirty things. Tolerance doesn't mean you are strong, you can withstand cheating, you can withstand disrespect from your spouse. That doesn't mean you have heart that you can you are you are strong. You are weak. Why should you even be told be tolerating such thing? Why? Let's be honest, why should you even be tolerating it? Here is your husband standing. You completely forgot you had a husband. You had a husband. You were going crazy over your best friend and over over a bestie. You even have a man as a bestie. <laughs> this husband, and I will repeat it, going crazy over a bestie and a gospel singer. Nail down for them. I doubt if this guy has ever nailed down for her husband. She shouldn't publicly apologize. Nobody needs her apologies. And honestly, nobody will be talking about this if she didn't post it on her Instagram. She completely shouldn't apologize. But so sorry for the guy. So sorry for the guy. There are core values in the relationship. Well, she married an actress though. An actress who can kiss and do all those things on on, on camera. So, it's understandable. It's, it's uh, what he planned for. It's what he signed up for. I hope it can it can withstand it in the near future, where your wife respect your past, respect her pastor and her gospel singer more than you. She completely blacked out, even forgot she had like she's she's she, her, her husband is there because her husband was even trying systematically to bring her up. She completely blacked out, and you say it's not disrespect. We are not discussing about her. We are, if anybody is discussing about it, it is uh, for future references for other men. If you like tolerate it, you are the one that will tolerate it. Good and fine. That one on your own. But person like me, and I know some men as well, will not tolerate that rubbish. Never. Will not tolerate that rubbish. 